What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight I have a 2017 F-250 with 71,900 miles and it came to me for a bunch of stuff. I got an oil leak. I had some recalls to do. I had a heated seat not working. And what else did I have? And some maintenance. Today I want to talk about the check engine light and what this little tool is going to do for your Super G. Come on guys, let's figure out how to get this girl back on the road. Welcome back. I hope everybody's doing well tonight. We have a DTC P23B and the definition of that is, well, is the reductant level sensor A circuit range performance. Now I've done some visual inspections and everything for the after treatment system is pretty much intact. However, when we ran the vehicle through Oasis, uh, a database that we pull up uh, pertinent information for our Super Duties or any Ford vehicle, there is a bulletin specifically for this DTC and if you're before this build date. Mine was January of 2017 and it asks you in the beginning if you have this truck before this build date with this DTC, yes. And it wants you to go down to the service procedure. It wants you to turn the ignition off and it wants us to locate the reductant tank. And we're gonna do that for those who have, do not know where your reductant tank is or who have never been underneath your 2017 Super Duty. Let's get this thing up in the air so we can show you guys what we're working with. All right, here we go. Underneath the truck, we got the DEF tank right behind the fuel tank. You guys can see it's its own little unit but we're going for this push pin, this push pin, there's the third one right there. We're gonna take these push pins down because I need to get to the reductant components behind this. It's actually showing you the location of the push pin, so we're doing those two and the back one that we just saw. And we're just gonna use our trim tool to get that out like that. Save that for reuse. Let's get this one. Okay. Save this for reuse. And then we're going to go for this back one right here. tougher to get on this one. Come on, baby. She does not want to come. Oh, all right. So once you get that out, that thing is just gonna kind of flop right on that line. Now that we got this completely all the way off, we need to see if there is a certain part number on this component because there is a certain level oh, uh, of calibration that's gonna go in it. We need to make sure that we have that module in here so let me let me find exactly where the part number is actually right here on the connector that's the part number that they want you to have in order for you to successfully program this reductant quality module we are going to plug in this module first time we're going to use it we're going to remove this tab from the battery so that now we have power we are going to hook this connector to the reductant quality module, okay? And then our next step is we're gonna switch this on. The light is gonna go green. 
we're gonna give it 60 seconds and then the bottom one should be going green so okay powered up you can see the can communication is active so right now we have to be programming this module this is the first time I've ever had this DTC on a Super Duty and have had to use this tool to program the urea sensor so we're just gonna keep waiting see it just entered the programming state phase or stage and uh, yeah we'll just kind of sit here and wait for this one to go green now in the directions it said if this turns red to try the programming again uh, if it continues to go red again it wanted you to change the 9 volt battery you can see once this went green the reflash was complete so we have finished the programming process for the reductant quality module so we'll go ahead and switch this off pull attempt to pull this connector off and then we'll rehook our connector back up and latch the white locking tab tell me if anybody has ever had this DTC on their 67 2017 or current model year um, anybody ever had to do this first time for me and I wanted to show you guys what you had to do to fix this DTC uh, and most likely you're only gonna have to have this completed at the dealer tell me what you think in the comment section below and remember to like comment sub share and I'll see you guys next Friday. Thanks so much. See you.